hi guys so today we are going to do a hair care video on braids so how i like to keep my braids looking fresh even though it's been a hot minute um i've had my braids in for almost a month now and i feel as though they are looking kind of fresh so i'm just going to take you through all the things i like to do to make sure that i can have my braids looking good for as long as i can before it's time for me to you know take them out so we're gonna okay over here guys you can see that i have got a mess going on there's not enough build up here to show you but sometimes you know when you get that build up at the top of your hair that you just kind of need to get rid of from all the gel that you've been using this is the perfect thing to do so what i like to do to prepare my hair for that shampoo is to get it damp it needs to be damp enough so that the shampoo can lather really really well so my favorite shampoo that i like to use is this palmer's one it smells good i know that i say that in every video about everything but that smells amazing so next i like to section off my hair the bits that i'm going to be doing and put it away i take the one braid that i'm working on at the time and then prepare it for a little bit of shampoo you don't want to use too much you really just want to get enough so that it lathers quite well so feel free to add more water whenever you do need to and just kind of wash your hair in a circular motion it kind of looks like i'm doing it a bit rough but guys i promise i'm not it's just sped up so just keep going in a nice circular motion add some water again when you do need to and then just try to get all the build up out i then go on to the next section and repeat the same step it can get a little bit sticky so be prepared for that and just go in here as you can see a bit of a close up i'm just showing you guys exactly how it's meant to look when it lathers up quite nicely and just gets the job done so i've already done my first three braids i'm just going to speed up and do exactly the same steps as i did in the first one in the rest of the clip okay here is where you get the most build up you kind of just want to focus on that area and make sure you get out all the little bits from your hair and just repeat the rest of that throughout the front of your head. So as you can see, I've done these little bits. I am going to rinse out my circumference. I'll be back in a This is a bit hard in here, so we're just going to fast forward to the bit when I'm back in my room. Okay, cool. Okay, so in my bathroom, um, I've managed to get most of it out. And now I'm going to head back to the room to finish this off. I'm back and we are actually going to, what I'm going to do next is go in and do my styling I like my edges to look fresh and clean clean so what I've done as you know is rinsed out the suds from the shampoo so I'm gonna go next and get my oil so when I have braids in I like to oil the front especially when I've just washed it because sometimes it can get really really dry especially because I'm always like do my edges every single day. I'm just gonna soothe it. I'm just gonna go in. Massage it in. It feels really good. <laughs> if I'm honest. And that also stimulates hair growth. I don't know if you guys know, but my edges are naturally really thin. 
gonna end the rest of my hair. My hair is quite thick. So I just like any excuse to get a bit of oil in and just a massage. I would take. <laughs> Next, into the styling. So, I've got my first book screwed. I need to get my edges brush. I feel like every person has an edges brush that looks like this. It's a toothbrush, yeah. But everyone has the, this one, the Reach one, the one that's pink. If you have it, let me know. I'm known with the other one. So I like to take a little bit on my ego styler. And I'll just put it along here, even on this bit. And I will just try and lay it a little bit. And because my hair is, I think three weeks, it's overgrowing a bit. What I like to do is, I don't know if you can see this extra growth here, I like to get it in my hair and just ever so lightly. I'm not doing it hard, but I'm not even twisting at the base yet. I'm twisting more where the hair is connecting to the braid. So I'll get it. Grab all the little bits of hair here. Twist it slightly like this and then put it away. I then go in with my next braid, a little bit of eco styler, put it together, twist up gently, just remember gently, and then pin it back. And I'm going to do that with the rest of them. Okay, so this is where I messed up and I realized that eco style was not slipping down anyone's edges. Can you see that? Very, very sad. So I didn't have my Mayo Organics one, so I went in with the Got To Be Glued gel and just slicked it down. So then what I like to do over here is either go to bed with my head scarf on or just wait a couple of minutes if I'm going to go out. Edges came out pretty nice and laid, if I do say so myself. So it's not tight at all, um, it actually feels pretty nice, especially because I've got it in this little half up, half down situation, it looks good, so. And that is the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, just like I did. This is what I like to do to keep my hair nice and fresh, you know, looking good. Even though it's time for me to take it out, I, sometimes I don't want to buy it, you know. I paid good money for these. They're going to stay for a while. So, I'm sure you guys know the deal already. As I always say, please like, comment and subscribe if you like the video. And I hope to see you in my next one.